Today we're going to talk about how fast things are moving in the AI space. So as you can see here on the page, I'm sure you've heard of this if you keep up with AI news. There's this new thing, this new framework called OS World. And basically it leverages multi-agent interactions, but not just to do tasks like research, web scraping, things like that. This is actually meant to actually control applications on a desktop environment. So with some of the conversations I've had with some of you guys in Discord or, on, or in the one-on-ones, one of the things we've talked about was even though agent interactions are ideal for, you know, solving some tasks, something more ideal would be an agent model that could potentially replace, you know, the user or rather the human interaction with some apps that we use on our day to day, right? This was just released, I believe last month. And look at that. That's just how quickly things move and how quickly things can scale with AI. Something that I thought was, you know, probably on the wish list for maybe the next few months or maybe a year or two is already pretty much out and it's being tested. Now I haven't actually implemented this or used this. And, and anytime I start using any new project, I always go in with a little bit of skepticism just because since AI is still the hot new thing, there's a lot of people that are very invested in trying to get funding or, you know, try to sell a product for the sake of, you know, just writing this AI trend. And I'm sure y'all have seen this before where you got a product or you got a license or you got a subscription to an AI product that was supposed to solve a particular use case or a problem you had and it actually just didn't turn out to be as good as you thought it would be. So is OS World the next big thing, the thing that's going to revolutionize AI once for all? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But the other point I want to make was is these fast releases is the exact reason why learning through creating projects and implementing these frameworks on your own is going to be important for your AI knowledge, for your AI development, as all these technologies, all these new frameworks, all these new apps are released. And this way you get to see for yourself if it's really going to be the real deal or if it's all hype. So let's take a look at their repository. So just to recap some of the things you've learned in the past few days or even the past few weeks, if you've been following my videos, or other tutorials on agent technologies. Pretty much you learn about Python programming, even if it was at a high level, you had to interact with it and you learn about integrating your projects with API interactions. Now, it may not feel like you learned a lot because you only did a few instances of it. I mean, a lot of things in that space are still not super clear to you. At the end of the day, you still had to go through the challenging struggle of learning just enough about these technologies in order to get your projects running. And as you went in this journey, in order to learn about AI agent technology, you got exposed to a lot of new concepts and technologies that you probably would still not even be familiar with if instead of just jumping straight in and doing these projects, you had decided to, you know, take a three month programming one course course or take a 13, 15 week boot camp. And even if you went back and did all those things, the goal is to stay at the cutting edge of all these very fast changing, very quickly developing technologies. And then the quickest and clearest path to that is to dive deep by implementing and learning through exposure. The point that I'm trying to make is that because you went through the trouble of learning everything that you had to learn in order to use Crew AI, well, now you have a good foundation on learning this technology too. As you can see, this code is open source too. It's available in GitHub. You'll be able to pull it to your machine. You'll be more or less familiar with some of the installation process. I mean, even if you don't know exactly what these commands are, you do know that these are going to be typed in the terminal. You see pip here, you know, that's related to dependencies. And, you know, even if this seems a little too technical still for you, you can always just copy this, paste it on ChatGPT and just go from there. My point is that because you already went through the headache of learning how to do this with Cray AI, doing this with a different technology like OS World is still going to be a little bit of a headache, but at least it'll be a lesser headache because of everything else that you already did and you learned on the path to get here. I really want to thank you all for the positive feedback that I've been getting in the one-on-one -on -one calls and I'm really excited for the collaborations that will be happening in the near future. If there are ideas or questions that you would like to discuss for a career AI project, whether that's for your business or whether that's for a personal project, my Calendly link is in the description so you can book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me free of charge and that call will be able to discuss what the next steps are for your project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.